Suella Bravman, the sacked Home Secretary, has written to Rishi Sunak. After being dumped from Cabinet yesterday, let's cross to our political editor, Christopher Hope, now for a dramatic update. Chris, what's the latest? Well, Martin, she said she'd speak. She really has, and then so. I mean, a letter, a three-page letter here to the Prime Minister, Sula Braveman, now the former Home Secretary, makes a number of claims about the PM, which will make them, be, make them wince in Downing Street. It provides massive ammunition for Sir Keir Starmer, uh, Prime Minister's questions tomorrow. It reveals here for the first time that when Sula Braveman offered to become Home Secretary in October 2022, forgive me, was offered that job, she uh, issued uh, some demands that she, she says were a were a, a, agreed with the Prime Minister to reduce overall legal migration, um, to, to deliver on the, the, the Northern Ireland Protocol Bill um, and, to, and to retained EU law bill and the rest. Uh, it's a document, she says here, she agreed with the PM and she then says that she sent many letters to the Prime Minister about these areas. He says, she says, you have manifestly and failed to deliver every single one of these key policies. Um, either your decision to trust our government means you are un incapable of doing so, or I must now conclude you never, have never had any intention of keeping your promises. These aren't interests of mine, he says. The, she, she says these are um, ideas that were promised um, the, by, by the, to the British people in 2019. Um, she talks here about she's, she's very keen to leave the ECHR, we know that. Um, she says how she was against um, um, areas of litigation from the government in this area. If we lose the Supreme Court, that's tomorrow morning on this idea of going uh, of uh, protesting people arriving here in Rwanda. Um, that then we, we wasted a whole year and an act of Parliament to ride back at square one. It's absolutely brutal. This note here from Sweller Braveman. Um, she's very concerned about the direction the, the government's taking. We are now seeing a complete schism opening up between the right of the party and um, so, and uh, Rishi Sunak's centrist government. How this plays out in the next few days could be very interesting indeed. And there's a withering line here, um, Chris. If we lose in the Supreme Court, an outcome that I've consistently argued we must be prepared for, then you will have wasted a year and, in, and an act of Parliament yep. only to arrive back at square one. This is absolutely brutal stuff, Chris. Uh it's, it's, it's in Sandry Martin. I'm reading, I'm reading as we speak uh, from my WhatsApp here, being sent to me by someone close to Sweller Braveman a few moments ago. It said here, she says here towards the end, someone needs to be honest. Your plan is not working. We have endured record election defeats. Your resets have failed and we're running out of time. You need to change course urgently. It's that paragraph there, I think, which would be used on every single Labour election leaflet between now and the big day sometime next year. This is absolutely incendiary. The party has got a massive schism now at the top of it between the centrist Rishi Sunak Brigade and people like Sweller Braveman. It is a civil war with the Tory party. Yeah, and Chris, uh, a withering penultimate paragraph here in this three-page letter. I may not have always found the right words, but I have always striven to give voice to the quiet majority that supported us in 2019. I have endeavoured to be honest and true to the people who put us in these privileged positions. Chris, entirely tearing in to Rishi here, saying, yes, I may not have been delicate in my choice of phrase, but just saying, as Jacob Rees-Mogg, as Lord Frost has said today, Chris, that she was speaking what the voters put out there. I endeavoured to be honest and true, implying, of course, that Rishi has been neither. Uh, that's right. I mean, her language uh, on, on the idea of a choice to live in a tent if you're homeless, uh, that was, a, 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 for goodness, 10 days ago now, wasn't it? Um, and then, of course, the, these remarks in the Times um, opinion piece last Wednesday night were certainly kind of out there. They went further than the PM would say, words he wouldn't use, as he said to us. But, of course, uh, he, her, her point is, I'm trying to create the kind of space for what you're doing as, as a government. He says at the end, there's a threat at the end, Martin, worth noting that, this letter. I will, of course, continue to support the government, she says, in pursuit of policies with which align with an authentic conservative agenda. Now, that term authentic means right wing. Yeah. So she's saying here, unless you pursue right wing policies, that will mean tax cuts, that will mean leaving the ECHR. And if you do things the right want, I can't support this government. That's the threat here in plain terms to the prime minister. 
And Chris, there'll be many, many people looking at this, looking for the next move, what this indicates, what the direction of travel will be. A lot of people were saying, will Suella Bravman position herself as the champion of the right in a fragmenting party? Chris, this says that in spades. Well, the context, of course, is letters of no confidence. Now, after the first year of the, of the Sunak's premiership was up last month, you can now submit, if you're a Tory MP and you want to, a letter of no confidence in the leadership of the Prime Minister, Rishi Sunak. That's to Graham Brady. If more than 15% of MPs say they support that, there'll be a vote of no confidence. The first letter went in last night from Dame Andrea Jenkins. Um, she was seen as an outlier. She was dismissed as a pantomime dame by one Tory MP. But I just wonder whether this letter here might cause some other MPs pause for thought. Mm -hmm. I was talking earlier with a very senior Tory MP, a member of the Cabinet, who said to me that for every one person promoted in a reshuffle, two are not happy about it at all. That's two-thirds of the party are probably unhappy, feel overlooked. They wonder what they've got nothing to lose. I wonder whether... I just wonder whether this is the beginning of something. It may be nothing. I mean, I think that Swella Braveman appeals to a distinct wing of the party, not enough to probably beat Mrs Sunak in a toe-to-toe -to -toe fight for leadership. But this is a real problem here. This is her setting out her stall, Swella Braveman, as the standard bearer of the right with an incendiary letter here to Richard Sunak. Yeah, and Chris, a lot of people will be looking at this and saying, you know, Suella Bravman said she would speak out. And by Jove, she has. She really, really has spoken out in sundry words, hinting at division. And, and it, Chris, maybe, maybe this is an indication of a schism opening up. This is huge news. We'll get reaction to Bravman's comments throughout the show. Of course, I'm Martin Daubney on GB News, Britain's news channel.